had to pack to an eight event program at Club and Angle on Saturday night. I thought the first of the three specials appeared in race two with the consistent phase of glory prepared by the very much informed Nathan Turnbull, who will also take the reins. Phase of glory, as I mentioned, very consistent, coming off two very solid placings in what looks to be an open and competitive race. So I'm sure Phase of Glory will be right there when the judge calls a halt to proceedings. Now moving over to the second special, which appears in race five, with number nine, Orchid Stride for Jack Trainer. Jack was in the sulky last week when the mare led. It was run down late in finishing fourth behind a very smart stable mate, BK Swive, which was driven by Jack Brown. Prior to that outing, Orchid Stride won four and on in fine style. At least she will find the lead despite drawing out wide and take a power of running down. So Orchid Stride, the one to beat in race five. Moving over to race six and Alta Orlando, the 10-year-old veteran returns from a mixed Queensland campaign during the Winter Carnival, coming off a very respectable fourth, beating eight metres to Majestic Cruiser in the Blacks of Fake. Draws ideally in gate two and Alta Orlando, the class run of the field, and he should prove that in the sixth event. Then moving over to Melton, which resumes after the past month of country meetings being staged on a Saturday night. And the first of the specials in race two with number five, Ian Buckian, for the Gath Stable. Ian Buckian was certainly a little bit disappointing last time. Our form prior was solid. But I think the important factor here is the return to a better draw. The Jeff Webster Stable has been in outstanding form of late. In race five, despite drawing wide, I think Elegant will return to racing on a winning note. Well, in race six, the ultra-consistent Cobber, Nicely drawn in gate two. He will be competitive in an open race. Now, prior to signing off, some interesting news as far as Harness Racing New South Wales stewards panel is concerned with the introduction of the former Victorian chairman of stewards, Brett Day, to the panel. So we certainly looked forward to Brett commencing his duties on the Harness Racing New South Wales panel. No doubt he will be a very welcomed addition. So until next time around, good punning.